in this video i am going to show you how to create a free vps server welcome to sas media studio my name is kojun ketia on this channel we create lessons related to affiliate marketing business marketing email marketing and also making passive money online so please if you want such content kindly subscribe for more future uploads okay now let's get into it this is the website the name is cloud sigma i will leave the link of this website at the description down below okay so you click and you'll be redirected to this wonderful page now before we go ahead creating the account let's check this out switzerland okay so this you see over here is the country in which our vps server is going to be created in from you understand or in or from you understand so when i click here i can select other country okay let's say i don't want switzerland okay or switzerland i can choose ireland and i can enjoy my free vps server from ireland you understand so if you are doing something and you need a specific country just come and choose from this list of countries that's cool now we have two section this section and this section okay so this is instant access and this no credit card is required or needed all right and we have the sign in section now when i click instant access now i'll be giving one hour to explore the server to create everything that i want that's for one hour then if i am cool with it i can then register for the free account and use it for seven days let's get into it so click on instant access all right so now um i have used this as a guest user for several time so that is why my time has been reduced to 15 minutes all right so since you are a new guest user okay you will get one hour to use you understand so i can go ahead and continue so i will not continue from here because we are here because we want a free account we can use for a very long time or maybe for a while you understand and we are going to get seven days free account from this particular platform so let's get straight to it without even bothering about the one hour usage okay Just click on upgrade now you have to enter your email address here you have to use a business email address so if you don't know how to create a business email address leave it at the comment section i will create a video on that for you better still you can use proton mail to create this account if you don't know how to create an account with that just let me know i'll create a video particularly on that so now i'm going to type in my email over here my business email yes then i'm going to click on i agree to terms of service and click on sign up yes you successfully subscribed for your new cloud click ok i got it now an email has been sent to your business email so just go to your email and you can see this is the email your account is ready just click on it and click on this first link now we can set a new password for our account so i'm going to use this passwordgenerator.net website to create my password so i just set it to 10 okay and generate i'm going to copy first line I'm going to paste it over here and paste it over here and click on save and sign in never still click on upgrade now you are almost there so this is what we are going to enjoy as a free trial version you understand so you are going to get one uninterrupted cloud service 50 gig of distributed ssd okay three gigahertz of cpu two gigabyte of ram and also five gigabyte of outgoing data transfer now before we can trigger this seven day free trial we need to enter our phone number so just enter your phone number or better so you can use this website five sim.net but in this video i am going to use my personal phone number so i've entered my phone number so click on send sms code now a code will be sent to my phone so all i have to do is just enter the code sent to me over there so i'm waiting for the code to appear on my phone 
so after waiting for a while i didn't receive my code so what i decided to do is to chat the support team so i just clicked on the live support and this is what i sent to them okay so i am verifying my phone number but i couldn't receive the code so yes so that is it and they requested for my email address my business email Okay, so um, so asked me to use a legit phone number. I told them that I am using my personal phone number, my local phone number. Okay, so insist even if they try to be smart on you, just insist you are using a personal phone number, even though I am using the personal phone number, phone number. So if you are using the five sim dot net phone number never mind just let them know that it's your own personal phone number okay so after that i waited for a while and he asked me for my currency and he, he told me the trial version has been what activated all right so i went on and asked for um whether port 5 has been opened or what whatever so if you want to use this for your email or smtp creation then i don't think this is advisable but I further asked if it is cool to be requested, okay? If it is cool to request for the port 25, and they said yes. So you can uh, send them email through this. Uh, if you want port 25 to be opened on this for, uh, on this um, server, on this VPS, okay? Just get just write it at the comment section. I'll walk you through the step on how to get um, the port 25 opened with this vps server so you can create your email server or your S smtp server all right so now uh, i have to minimize this okay so when you click on chat over here that's where you can have the chat with them you understand all right so i am going to refresh this page to see if my um shy version has been activated as he proposed exactly so as you can see it has been what um it has been triggered all right so you can see the timer is no more you understand so that is how you can get a free vps server without any credit card all right so now you can install any operating system on it so i'm going to click on compute so just click on wizard so now you need to select your size of the resources that you want to use keeping in mind the free trial that you are using okay so the resources that they promise to give you is what you are going to use all right so in this case i'm going to use the small three which has one core two gig of ram and also 50 gig of ssd storage all right so now click on create now you have to select your operating system in this case i want to use debian or let's see if i can get ubuntu all right so i am going to use ubuntu 20.04 okay uh you can also come and use debian or you can use um okay so let me use debian that that will be fine or sent os whatever so i'm going to use the ubuntu so i'm going to click on next so now i'm going to create an ssh keys okay so click on generate then you have to give a name to your ssh key in this case i'm using kojo as a name for my ssh key so click save and attach click on your ssh key kojo and make sure you select your public ssh key copy and copy now go back then click on auto generate paste your ssh key that you copied over here then set your own password over here click on generate this is it copy this and save it somewhere that's cool now click on generate so as you can see you have successfully activated cloud net or you can find cover whatever okay so that's all so click on create and let's wait for it to create our server for us yes so as you can see congratulations your server is running okay so now this is your password and this is your username so copy that and add it to your details over here all right so now you can use any ssh client or you can use this as an ssh client i am going to copy my public ip address also to that section so this is my ip address now click on my server all right yes so back to my compute click on computer and this is the server running now let's say you want to access this server with um an ssh client with putty okay so i am going to show you how to do that just visit this website and download putty so i'll leave the link of this website at the description down below all right so now click on the first okay link to download putty all right so i already have it all right 
so i'm going to open it click next now i have already installed it so you just follow the simple procedure and do it all right so now i'm going to open putty so this is putty so i'm going to click on putty all right so now let's go back to the server now make sure you click on the server now come to the ssh key section so this is your ssh key just click on that now click on download public key and also download the private key as well so now come here and search for putty gen so this is putty gen just click on that so now click on conversions and click on import now you have to search for where you downloaded your ssh key so this is one so this is the private so i'm going to click on the private and click on open so i'm going to click on generate and i'm going to hover my point over here my pointer over here i'm just going to hover the pointer over here if you stop it will also stop okay so just hover till it get finished now it's done now click on save private key yes and save it to anything that you want so i'm going to save it as the name that i used when creating my ssh key okay so click on save and we are done close this now open your putty now go and paste your ip address over here. so i'm going to copy my ip address so i'm going to paste my ip address at this section so under the connection there is ssh right click on the plus sign and click on the, the plus sign just before the alt and click on credentials now click on browse at the first private key okay because we downloaded private key just click on browse and select your private key and click on open now it's done click on open over here all right so we have to type a cloud sigma so cloud sigma as our username enter the unity yes so as you can see that is it so i'm going to type sudo su so you can see that i'm the root side of it so i can do any installation that i want okay i can install any repository or software or systems on my ubuntu system so that is basically how to create a free vps server without any credit card okay so please subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more future content also leave your comment or your suggestion at the comment section let's meet next time goodbye